Louise and today I'm joined by Andrew from Logitech G. Hey yo. So today we're going to be talking about G-Hub, but first hit that subscription button if you don't already subscribe and hit the notification button too so that you never miss when our next video lands. Meanwhile, back to this, let's talk about G-Hub. Tell me if someone didn't know what G-Hub was, talk to me Andrew. G-Hub is a powerful customization platform that allows you to get the most out of your Logitech G devices. So it's everything from simply customizing your mouse's DPI settings all the way to very powerful profile-based macro lighting and combination settings that automatically apply when you launch games. So a lot is going on in G-Hub, but at the very base layer, it's a way for you to get the most performance out of your hardware. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the screen. What are we looking at here? You can customize each and every one of your peripherals separately or together? That's correct. At the base layer, there's uh, our profile system. And what that does is you can either customize a default profile and lock it, which would be the most simple way to set up everything, where it would just be the same settings for any different game or application you launch. Beyond that, there's a way for you to do automatic profiles for every single game that you have installed on your system. So when you launch those games, all of your settings specific to that game will be automatically applied. So in that case, it would be games you'd maybe want specific lighting setups for other games. Can you then individually customize keys for, for whatever you want to play? Absolutely. So essentially any of the settings that you can customize in G-Hub can be applied automatically per game. And even beyond that, there are sub-profiles that you can automatically switch between. For example, like in Overwatch, if you'd like to you know, have a separate set of hotkeys and DPI settings for each one of the characters you play, you could do that through G-Hub. So let's take a look at it in action. Show me a custom profile that you're going to create. Let's do the Pro Wireless. Sure. So first of all, um, you know, the easiest thing to do is just to start digging into the specific device that you'd like to look at. Sure. So here we're checking out the Pro Wireless Gaming Mouse. Um, and here we're looking at the lighting settings page. And this is a really cool way for you to, you know, get uh, everything from basic lighting settings like your fixed color or, uh, you know, color cycling and breathing effects. But we also have more advanced effects that you can customize specifically based on the content on your screen or based on direct API control from AAA titles. Okay. We work with tons of developers to uh, allow them to build in lighting settings into the game. Like, for example, one of the most famous is Grand Theft Auto, okay. where you know the if you're being pursued by the police, uh, the you know red and light flashing. Yep. Um, but beyond that, there's also a really cool thing called Screen Sampler. And what this does is it actually takes all the information from your display and informs the lighting on your devices based on zones that you choose. Okay. This can be particularly powerful in combination with something like, say, the G560 speaker system, where it has that four zone lighting for that really nice ambient lighting effect. So you're saying that even if it's changing, if you're watching a movie, say, or you're playing a game, it will always change depending on what's happening on screen. That's correct. And so that's really a nice set and forget sort of setting where you do it once and then anything you do on the screen is going to have that cool ambient lighting effect. Can you show me on here, uh, maybe if you wanted to make a profile and then share it with people, is that something you could do? Absolutely. So so um, digging into the profile system, so here's a look at all the different profiles. We can see a snapshot of the different games that you play, Louise. Yeah. And as being from Wales, I see that you're playing Farming Simulator 19. That's a lie. Yeah, well, but carry um, on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Farming Simulator, for example, is a super popular game, not only here uh, in Europe, but also the rest of the world. For some reason, there's a massive esports community behind Farming Simulator yeah. as well. I guess people just love to have sort of an alternate universe that they like to play in. So for example, when you take a look at all the different games you have installed in your system, you can click on one of those games and start editing the profile that will then automatically apply when you launch that game. Yep. You're actually in locked mode, which means that um, you have a persistent profile functioning. So down at the bottom, it says, would you like to enable automatic profile switching and disable persistent profile? Yes. And yes, we're going to say yes for the sake of this example. And you picked the right game. You picked Assassin's Creed Origins. Is that your favorite game? Of course. One okay. of them. Yes. Nice. But you made the right choice. Are you uh, more of a, a skulk around type of person or are you a go for the throat and action kill everybody? I'll start out sneaking, but inevitably it will go badly, badly wrong and I'll kill everyone in sight. You know what? The, the light side is always the more difficult side. Speaking of lights, let's go back to that. <laughs> So once you've selected a profile, you can then select all the different settings that you want to automatically apply while you're editing that profile. In the upper left-hand corner, this is the way for you to see which profile you're, you're editing. Sure. There's also lots of notifications to make sure that you know exactly what's happening. So yep. for example, before you would set a persistent profile, which means that the default was always going to happen. Yep. But now that we've disabled that, that little window came up and said, are you sure you want to do this? So this way, you know, you can always kind of understand exactly what you're doing. Yep. This is another one of the big improvements 
performance over um, Logitech Gaming Software, which is the previous iteration of our customization platform. Yeah. Tons and tons of creature comfort and sort of you know generic quality of life upgrades have been applied to G-Hub. Um, and of course, it's a brand new platform, so we have a lot more capability over the previous generation. So now that we're editing this profile, we can select our lighting, which to, for the sake of this, we'll go with the cycle effect. And now if you wanted to sync up all of your devices together and make sure that they all look exactly the same, okay. which is a huge part of setting up, you know, sort of a battle station. Tons of gamers really love that all synchronized, you know, it's the, one of the best things about RGB lighting. So it's going to be a case of you load up that specific game and that profile will then be recognized across all of your devices, not just one. So you, that means you could switch between games and have it completely set for all of them? That's correct. Amazing. Yeah, so for example, um, so for Assassin's Creed, actually let's do a breathing effect, but then we'll choose a color, we'll choose red. So now we've selected the red color for the breathing effect yep. uh, for Assassin's Creed, seems appropriate. Absolutely. And now we're going to apply it to all of the different devices we have connected. Simply just select, you know, sync lighting options and then click all the devices that you'd like to add to that setting. Yep. Now all of a sudden, as you see, all the devices are synchronized and they're all showing. Red. Perfect. So we've seen lots of how you can create different profiles on different games, how you can share that, but there's also big things in G-Hub about streaming as well. Can you talk a little bit about that for us? Absolutely. So we know that um, not only is streaming super popular in general, but we also know that there's a ton of people that are getting into streaming or want to try their hand at content creation. We've created a ton of tools and capabilities through G-Hub that allow you to get access to a quicker way to just simply do what you do best, which is create your content. Okay. A lot of the times the thing that really holds people up is is configuring and setting things up right so one of the things that we've done is created a tool called actions um, and it allows you to actually inter interact with these applications like discord or OBS and create macros and, and a bunch of combinations of macros that allow you to interact with the application itself for example you can set a macro that will set the, the lighting of your devices play a song and switch scenes and go to a, a particular setting on OBS uh, just with one hotkey Oh, amazing. Is that something that people can also share, just like their gaming profiles? Absolutely. The community portal is a great way to not only share the hard work of customizing, uh, you know, all the stuff that you've done on Jihad, but it also is a great way to get access to that customization from other people. Um, it's really simple to upload a profile to the community, simply access the community portal, and you can search for different tags, like say, we'll say streaming here. And so um, clearly three people have thought it was cool to create profiles for yeah. streaming on G-Hub. Um, so you can see this is color stream, and I'm not sure, that sounds like that could be sort of a weird um, dance move. Yep, we can but, be doing the color stream. You know, uh, besides that, it's all, this is also a way for you to search for things that you're looking for when it comes to customization. Yeah, so you can see a lot of people are searching for Fortnite because they have specific setups for that. That's correct. So if someone has made a profile specifically for streaming, is that something that they can then share just like the game profiles? Absolutely. So there's an amazing community portal for you out there to not only create and share the different settings that you've done in G Hub, but also to download those settings that others have created. Um, this is a great way to not only get up and running with really awesome customization, but also it's a great way to share your hard work with the community. So we uh, definitely recommend that if you are creating really cool customization through G-Hub that you share that with the community profile settings. Well, thank you very much for talking to me about G-Hub. So if you have any questions about G-Hub, pop them in the comments below and we'll try and answer them. And don't forget to subscribe to Logitech G for more videos and tutorials just like this. If you do already subscribe, which we really, really appreciate, remember to hit that notification bell so that you know when our next video lands. Thank <laughs> you.